Okay, now I think it's a time uh, to talk about one-to-many relation and how we can define that in SQLize. Uh, I will create a post module and the user will have many posts and the post will belong to only one user. We can define that using a simple function in the user's uh, module called belongs to many. But before this, um, we need to define the post module and I will, def I will modify the structure a little bit here. So I want, I will execute this, sorry, I will execute this code from outside the function. So as soon as you import this file, this code will be executed. And I will export the user's module itself. And there is something cool I want to show you. It's called hooks. So we, we have something before, before sync. So before you put this table into the database, you can call this callback function. You can do anything you want here. So before user table or uh, before creating the user table. And there is another one called after create. So after, after sync. So which is not, which is very nice. And inside our posts, we need to create that. I put inside the models, the models folder. Yeah. First thing, I will import a model string and text, and the common model and the common options. And I will create this class. And I will write this post to init function. So this is things we should be comfortable with now. Uh, so post to init. I will expand the common mo model. I'll create a title which is unique and does not allow null. Uh, then I will create a body. So a body with type text does not allow null. I will expand also the common options in the second argument. Put the, I'll change the model name to posts with polar and think this is them, something that I think I missed in the users module. Yeah. yeah. So we need to pass the sequelize object, right? In the index, we used to pass it since we are exposing a function, but this will change. We can easily just import it from the connection. So inside our connection, I'm exposing the sequelize, which represents our connection. So I just need to import it here and pass it. And at the end, I will just export our post module here. So I can use it inside our user module. Well, first thing I need to import the SQLize connection. Okay. Well, I'm passing it here. And at the end, now I can use the belongs to many function. So users dot. Oh, um, oops, my bad. So it has many. Oh, has many. Uh, yeah. So uh, you, you use the has many function to note that the users has many posts, which next sequelize behind the scene will just put the user ID column as a foreign key inside the posts, but it will put it like this, and I don't like that. A way to change it is uh, to put a, to pass an object with a property called foreign key and name it so user ID. And there are some options that is useful as well. So on delete uh, cascade and on update also cas kid which is nice so i believe we should do this this kind of things also here in the post module uh, let it be here like this okay now things will change in our index to javascript so this is the user model itself, so I'll call it like this. And I'll also import the uh, posts module. So require modems post. And here, what I will do, I will just await the users dot sync, and I will pass, sorry, force 
through so each time it will delete the table and put it again and posts force through um, I think this is it but one thing I hate the look for uh, they are logging so much things into the console so you can put logging defaults so it won't log anything now so node dot I uh, have an error in our users module yeah I forgot to import this posts uh, this is one of the feet <laughs> I should have used the uh, uh, lint a uh, linter but anyway so post equal require post module so yeah everything is fine Let me go to our database. Expand. We should see two tables now. Come on. Okay, we have two tables. The user stays the same, but in our posts, we can see all the things we defined and we have the user id as it's uh, also a foreign key so yeah which is nice so this is what you want so hopefully at some point i can fake some data and query this but uh, we still have two things to cover one is uh, one one is uh, many to many through a conjunction table between two in two models so a users maybe and categories have many to many relation but through a table called user category and the user have a relationship with itself so self referencing many to many this is something also to cover uh, but I believe for one and one to one is really really simple so I don't need to do that or my or might I or I might do it I'm not sure but yeah so this is for now and the error was I just forgot to import the posts module so import it and add it here and that's it